Hello, everybody, and happy Monday. Today, we are going to be talking to the beautiful Little Miss Miosha Burgess, of founder of Mio's World. She is a youthpreneur, and we are going to get to know Little Miss Mio today right here on the Speak Up and Inspire series. I hope that you have your kids with you and that you are ready to meet Miss Miosha. Um, I am going to be adding her to our broadcast very, very soon. And I want you to tune in and send us any questions that you have. Um, have the kids ask questions. Just come and join us. It is the Speak Up and Inspire series live at eight right now. We will be doing this live every single Monday. Um, this week we have Miosha. And then if you go to the Speak Up and Inspire series, you will see after this podcast a list of who we're going to be talking to within the next couple of weeks. We have a full schedule the next couple of weeks, but this month is Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. And I thought that it would be appropriate for us to talk to a teen or a preteen herself um, to talk to her about what she is doing in the community, starting her own business, and what positive examples that she has in her life. Um, all week, or sorry, all month, we talked about teen dating violence. We talked about violence in our communities and our families. I wanted to end this month with something positive. Now, I'm not saying that all of our podcasts have not been positive because they have. But we were talking about violence and we were talking about dating violence and we were talking about the troubles that our children can get in and what we need to do as adults to keep them safe. But today we're going to be talking to a young lady who is making a big difference, not just as a youthpreneur starting her own business, but also in her school and her community. She is definitely, definitely a young lady that we want to keep our sights on to see what she's going to grow up to be. I'm very excited to meet her tonight and to talk to her personally. So we are going to bring Mio on now to talk to her. And I hope that you will support her by staying on. The podcast will be on for at least 45 minutes to 50 minutes. And this will give us plenty of time to get to know Miyoshi. So go get your kids. Bring them to your, your camera phone or your laptop or your desktop so that they too can meet Miss mm -hmm. Mio and find out how she became an, a youthpreneur and what advice she has for other kids out there who want to start their own business. Hello, Miss Clarissa. Hi, Ty. How are you? I know both of you um, have kids or either work with kids, so bring them to the to your um to the show. Let them see Mio Mio herself. Get to know Mio and any questions that you have, please put them in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and bring Mio on. But before I do, I wanted to say thank you to our past guest, Miss Katrina Thomas of Loving Yourself No More Abuse. Also, Snow Simmons with Young Women Saved by Grace. And also, I wanted to thank my family, Cedric Sanders and Heaven and Devin Keller for being on my first episode of my podcast. So shout out to those that were on our panel before, as well as Hope Speaks of I Speak Hope. She's also an advocate for um, human trafficking. So I wanted to say and give a shout out to those people who have already been on the Speak Up and Inspire series and continue to be a blessing to the community. Hi, Miss Clarissa. So we will go ahead now and bring Miss Mio on. Give me one second. And there, I've just invited Miss Mio to join us. And as soon as she joins us, we will go ahead and add her. And I've just sent her an invite, so hopefully she will be joining us very soon. Meanwhile, I wanted to show you a book called Kidpreneurs. It's a book that I bought for the twins. It's a pretty popular book. You've probably seen it on Facebook being advertised. And basically, it is a book for young entrepreneurs. 
just like Miss Mio that we're going to be talking to today. So this book goes into what it is to be an entrepreneur. Um, it goes into your ideas. It's kind of a workbook. If you look at the table of contents, it asks, what do you want to be when you grow up? How grown-ups earn money? Are you an entrepreneur? Getting started? Sample businesses you can create? Money on the internet? There's so many different topics that your children can um, learn from this book. And I'm sure these are some of the things that Ms. Mio learned herself. Um, we will find out who her mentee was to help her get her business started. So we're just waiting for Mio to come on right now so that we can interview her here live. We're going to give her a few seconds for her to come on. So while we were waiting, um, one of the reasons why I thought that it was important to bring her on was because I know that myself, um, having my own business and being out in the community and talking to youths, we meet a lot of talented young women and men. Um, I have had the pleasure of going to Clarissa's, who um, is the founder of Renewed Inspiration, and talking to her girls. Her girls range from about 11 up to about 18, I believe. Um, I've had the pleasure of talking to them. They're very talented young ladies. They are going to be having a talent show next month. I will find out the date and the exact time. I went last year. It was an awesome talent show. I had no idea that these ladies had so much talent until I went to the talent show that Renewed Inspiration does every year. So I will make sure that you get that information. I will also make sure that Ms. Mio gets the information. Hopefully she'll be able to come and show her face and tell us more about Mio's world there. But Renewed Inspiration is one of our youth partners with Butterfly Visions Project, which is my organization that helps domestic violence and sexual assault victims. Um, she has an organization that mentors young women to help them get ready for college and just for everyday things that our young ladies need. So Miss Mio, she is a youthpreneur. We are going to be interviewing her tonight, and I hope that you will stay on and bring your kids so that we can talk to her live here on Facebook. We are waiting for her to come on. Mio, check your inbox so I can make sure that we can get you on. having some technical difficulties. Let's see what's going on. Oh, there she is. I see her. I think she's coming. Let's see. Let's see. Wait. There she is. Hi, Mio. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good, sweetheart. How are you doing today? How are good. you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Are you feeling better? I know that you um, were sick for a couple of weeks with pneumonia. Are you feeling better? 
Um, yes, ma'am. I just have some trouble breathing sometimes. Okay. Yeah, I understand. It's it's, it's probably going to take a couple weeks for you to feel 100%, but I'm so glad that you're feeling better. Thank you. Are you in ROTC? Do I see some Army fatigue going on there? Um, no, I go to an Army school. I go to Upward Leadership Academy in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is our uniform oh. school. We had just got out of school. Oh, okay. All right. Yes, I've heard of that. Is that the school that's from North Tryon? Um, yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, I've heard of that school. Do you like that school? And how long have you been going there? I've been going there for a year now. It's okay, a really nice. good school. Really? Good. I'm SGA president. Yeah. I'm SGA president oh, at wow. that school. So. Oh, that is amazing. What grade are you in? Six. Sixth grade. Okay. Yes. My um my twins are about to go into middle school. So I've been looking at different schools and that was the next one for me to look at. So I'll make sure I look at that school. <laughs> All right. So I want you to tell me about you. Can you tell me um, a little bit about yourself? How old are you? We already know that you're in sixth grade. And what are some things that you like to do? Um, I am 12 years old. I am a youthpreneur. I love to run track, play golf, and run cross country. And when I am not doing any of those things, I like to go downtown Charlotte and hand out waters and Gatorades and snacks to the homeless and care bags. Oh, that is so amazing. That's nice. We do a um, a free hug event. We did our first one in January. The next one we're doing, I believe, is in June. We would love to have you. Would you like to join us for that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I will definitely let you know about that. I think that you would love it. Um, basically, what we do is we just take some, some candy and some waters, and we just kind of go around and just say hi to everybody. Um, we had really good responses when we did it in January. People were surprised and shocked that we were out just handing out hugs, but they loved it, especially when they, when they got to, to meet the kids that came out with us. So I would love to have you. I'd be glad to join you guys. Okay, well, I would definitely give you some more information about that. Do you have somebody with you right now? A mom or dad? Um, yes, my parents are here right now, but they're in the living room, so they're not up here. Okay, all right. Well, tell me, who is it that inspires you? Um, my inspiration is Madam C.J. Walker. She inspired me to start my own business. Okay. 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 And tell me about Madam C.J. Walker. Who is she for those people that might not know? Because there are people that probably don't know who she is. Um, Madam C.J. Walker is the first um millionaire uh, African American um woman. Um, she made the hair care um, product, the perm, um, out of um, recipes with her um, scalp, best of, and that's good. Okay. It um, calls her hair to lose. Okay, yes. Madam C.J. Walker was the first African-American millionaire. You are correct. Of course you are. You, If she is your mentor in the past, you have someone right now in your life who you look up to? Um, yes, I, um, like to, to, um, Mr. Tim, Tim, the motivator, he's a, he's a good inspiration for, like, um, young youthpreneurs, he helps them out, like, if you, if you don't know, like, some, um, like, how to, like, rate your products and stuff, he'll help you, like, um, start your own business. That sounds good. Yes, um, I have not had the pleasure of missing of meeting Mr. Nelson in person, but I have talked to him over Facebook and Messenger, and he mentioned that you were one of his mentees and that he was very proud of you. Are you able to hear me? Because I'm having some like feedback. Are you? I mean, some um, 
some static. Are you able to hear me okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. All right. So tell me about you. Before you started your business, what, what were you thinking? Like when you started your business, what was it about starting your business that, that attracted you? Or what was it about, what was going on in your life that you said, I want to start my own business? Um, when I first got diagnosed, with, I was in a hospital when I was eight years old, um, and I almost died. care bag I want to start my own um, business and I also talk about it in my book um, called 60 days of hope for inspiration mm -hmm. okay so tell us about your book um, my book it's um it's titled 60 Years of Host for Inspiration. And it just basically um it's like a quote book. So each day I have different quotes in here. And it's like you after you read my quote, then you can write your own quote about like how you feel about that quote that day and how was your day and how you're feeling. And then after after you read the first 30 days. It tells you about my life and um, how I almost died with sickle cell um, in 2015 and what I was going through. And it just basically talks a lot about that own that bitch. And then when, as you keep going on, it just mainly talks about like different quotes that um, keep uh, faith in yourself and always believe in yourself. And anything is possible if you put your... Oh, that is beautiful. I really like that. So um, you said that you were diagnosed with sickle cell in 2015. Is that correct? Um, I think we have a little bit of a bad connection. Uh huh. Okay, so Mio, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I think we have a little bit of a bad connection. Is there somewhere else in where you're at that you can move that has a little bit better reception? Mm -hmm. Um, no, that's the only part that has a good reception where my internet box is at. Okay, so right now you are very clear. So I'm not going to ask you if you still like a like a mime, but <laughs> don't go too far away from where you are right now because I you were breaking up when you moved over a little bit. So um, I did not hear what you said about sickle cell. Can you tell me again about when you were diagnosed? Um, I didn't know I had it. I was supposed to be diagnosed with everyone was supposed to be tested with it when I was a baby and they didn't test me. So when I first got sick, I had um bad pain in my side and my left side. And so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Let's know before we walk and walk before we can run. But, uh, Okay. All right. So I'm trying to make sure that I keep up with you because it keeps breaking up. So I heard about your sickle cell and when you were getting diagnosed and you said that that was your motivation for starting your own business, right? Yes, ma'am. Can, can you tell us about your parents? Do your parents have their own businesses or how have your parents been supportive when it comes to you starting your own business? They've been really supportive. My mom and dad, they actually have their own business. My mom, we have a family business all together that is, um, it's like a, um, like a catering business. And then my mom has a sports, um, boutique business and like just a different boutique. And my dad has his own cleaning, um, business that he like cleans big time, um, companies. And then my brother, he has his own business that he, um, he makes um chocolate um sweets and stuff. Oh wow! So it kind that of is goes awesome. around in my family that we just start selling. That is so great. Um, so you have you grew up in a family of entrepreneurs. Can you tell us what your mom and dad's businesses are? What's the name of their businesses? Hi. Um, my mom's business is Mariana Sunshine. A sports boutique, and my dad's business is meal. They took the name after me. Meals for cleaning service. So it, okay. it's on Instagram. You can find our Instagram on the front of mine. And then my okay, and taste chocolate That is awesome. So now let's get to you, Miss Mio. Tell us about your business. Um, my business is like interesting. I have a bunch of okay. different stuff, and like I do a lot of different things. I make um slime. I customize clothes. I customize shoes. I write my own books. Um, I do a lot of stuff in my business. Yes, you do. You do. What is your favorite thing about having your own business? Um, that. I get to get out in the world more and learn about different people, like what they do and stuff. That's good. That's good. What kind of volunteer service do you do? Um, I go and help with the um shelters sometimes in downtown Charlotte, and um, I also go to the nursing homes and help out with like the um seniors, um, the ones that can't like really walk and stuff. Okay. Okay. Well, that's really, that's, that's great. I know that your parents are very proud of you and you should be proud of yourself. All right. <laughs> so you're in school, you're, um, you're helping us right now with our teddy bear drive. How do your, how does your school take to having you in their school, doing good things in the community. Do you get a chance to share um, how you became a youthpreneur and, and do workshops and stuff in school? Are you doing that yet? A little bit. Not okay. My school, they support me, but it's um, like sometimes like in our turn, um, the where we go in formation, we don't have enough time to like speak about like each other and like what everybody does. So if we have time, then we end up just talking about it, but they support me. They are really good. Um, they support me a lot. They um, bought some of my,